off. I was very shocked when Farrah reached out to me. <laughs> I was like, what in the world made Farrah want me to speak? Like, because I've never spoken in front of a large group of people. Um, but the people before me made it a lot easier. Um, so I just wrote down a few things that I just wanted to say to you all. Um, so here we go. I kept trying to figure out when the world made fair when they asked me to be in her show, especially when I had never spoken in front of a large group of people. But then I realized that maybe I do touch some people in ways I had no clue. I've been so blessed in my life to meet such great people who've helped me become the person you see here today. I've had the opportunity to share company and interview some of the biggest names in Hollywood, such as Bobby Valentino, Toya Wright, some people know her as Little Wayne, Baby Mama. Um, Bambi, Benzino from Lumi Hip Hop, and Rashida, and so many more. I remember the first time I did my first interview, it was with Toya Wright. I was so nervous, the only thing I could think about was the things that girls think about was, you know, how I'm going to get my hair done, what I'm going to wear. Like, she's a celebrity, so I got to look at least a little bit better than her. So, you know. Um, but then I was like, I had to stop worrying about things like that. And so I interviewed her, and she was very sweet, and we became friends. So um, it was a nice experience. Um, so, um, but something came over me, and I just snapped out of it. And here I am today. But um, I'm no size 2, 10, or 15. But I do have a lot of confidence, and when I walk in the room, you are going to see me. Um, I will let you know that. Um, but, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm so nervous. I'm shaking. I'm sorry, but, um, you know, it's hard being a plus size woman. I'm not going to say that it's easy, because, you know, some guys, they don't like plus size women. And it is, it is okay, because, you know, you'll find somebody that's right for you. And, um, sorry. Go ahead, baby. Um, you know, I, I was teased and stuff for being overweight. People didn't make jokes and stuff, but, you know, it's stuff that you get over. Um, I think that I'm a very beautiful woman. Yeah. 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 My daddy, he's in the bag. He came out yes, of the way. Oh, my daddy. Oh, my daddy. <laughs> he makes me feel like I'm the most beautiful girl in the world. And I just love him so much. When I put on my makeup and stuff, he calls me Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, there's a my family is my support system and so right. getting into where I am and learning how to dress and be comfortable um in what I do and how I dress every day, and um, all things aren't made for plus size women. Just because it comes in our size, don't mean we gotta get it. Um, so my cousin, she's like a sister to me. Um, she's a plus size woman as well. Also, that's where I got most of my confidence from. She showed me how to just love myself and don't worry about what nobody else says. My family tell me all the time I'm beautiful. And um, it means a lot to me. Um, gosh, I'm nervous, y'all. Yes. Um, but like I was saying, you know, you just have to love yourself first and put God first because God made us all to be different. Yeah. Um, and I love him for that because if he didn't make me who I am, I wouldn't be who I am, you know. I wouldn't have went through all the trials and tribulations and, you know, being bullied and having being able to have tough skin in this world that we live in because God knows we live in a cold world. Um, but... I don't really have much to say, but I just I just want y'all to just love yourself. Don't tell nobody that, you know what I'm saying, don't let nobody tell you, excuse me, that you're not beautiful or that you don't deserve to be here because you're a little bit bigger or you might be a little bit smaller. Because I'm not going to just speak on plus size because there are some smaller women who get just as bullied as 
plus size women, um, they might say, oh, you're too skinny or you're anorexic or if you're a big girl, you're too big, you're unhealthy, but that's not true. So I just want to thank everybody for listening and being a great audience and y'all be blessed.